Hello, my very most beautiful Leos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your December weekly reading. And this reading is going to go from the 13th through the 19th. Now, it is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Leo, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Leo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. It does kind of look like to me, um, we're gonna, it does kind of look like to me that you're hoping for kind of a more positive outcome or a positive turnaround, like you're hoping that something, you know, goes in a really good direction with the Six of Wands showing up at the bottom of the deck, but um, I do feel like there's something, a little situation that you're feeling a little bad about. I don't necessarily feel like you have a reason to feel bad, but I still feel like you guys could be feeling a little bad about the way that things are working out. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse at the bottom or for your what's in your headspace. So that to me is talking about a little bit of regrets, a little bit of remorse. I feel like with this energy here, you guys could have chosen to walk away from somebody that you're just not interested in anymore. You're just not feeling it. Okay, I don't know a better way to say it, but there's definitely a lack of interest, a lack of desire, a lack of passion. And I feel like some of you guys are choosing to, you know, have choose to remove that from your life. Um, a lot of you guys could have, go, you, whether I'm not saying you necessarily ghosted somebody, some of you guys could have, but I um, mean, you definitely could have just cut off communication or stopped communicating with somebody. And I do feel like, you know, um, I feel like they're having a hard time. So I feel like you could be feeling a little bit bad about it. Get the two of cups in the reverse for what your true intentions is. So you just, you don't feel it. There's definitely a disconnect here. The knight of wands in the reverse, you know, you're not attracted. You're not, you're not interested. I'm not saying you're not attracted to this person, but there's something about it where you just don't have the desire, you know, or the attraction for the connection that you once did. And I feel like that's why you have stopped communication, why you've kind of pulled back your energy. Um, you're just disinterested. And I do feel like you could be feeling a little bit bad about it because I do feel like this person could probably be having a little bit of a hard time. But we're going to go ahead and pull some cards for them and see what's going on. Show me the person that Leo is dealing with. What is their energy towards Leo? Yeah, they have the Queen of Cups that just popped out. So, yeah, they could be missing you. They could be a little bit emotional about the situation um, as well. The Queen of Cups, she can be... A little bit you know she just doesn't have as quite of a good handle on her emotions as the king of cups and she can be very sensitive um so they could just be having a hard time oh, seven of cups wanted to pop out too so there's a lot of confusion um for them surrounding the situation and it just feels like a very overwhelming emotional situation for them i think there's just a lot of emotions for them at this time and a lot of confusion Maybe they don't understand, you know, why you feel the way you do or what happened, you know, something like that here. But let's take a look. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Swords in the reverse. The Devil in the reverse. Four of Cups. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Justice in the reverse. Two of Cups. Six of Cups. King of Cups in the reverse. All right. So, kind of feels like to me that this person is... They almost feel like you did something wrong, but I do feel like they're just feeling a little bit slighted, a little bit jaded here. Um, you know, they were very interested in you. So by you pulling back your energy, you know, by you not being interested, I do feel like this person is feeling a little hurt, a little scorned. Okay, they got the four of cups here, so feeling a little bit rejected. Um, the justice in the reverse, the knight of cups in the reverse. So they're starting to see that things just aren't going to work out, and I do feel like they feel like you have wronged them in some way. But I feel like they just, um, they just don't. And maybe some of you guys ghosted them and they are, you know, they don't appreciate that. But whatever it is, it's more like I feel like they're just choosing anger over 
you know, feeling rejected and feeling hurt. It's just coming, it's just expressing itself as like attitude and anger. And the two of cups, because I do feel like this person did have some emotion for you, absolutely. The six of cups, they're, they're thinking about you a lot. They're, they're thinking everything over. They're going over everything in their head. Um, they feel like you're become very emotionally distant or closed off towards them as well. So let's take a look at this. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, they're choosing, trying not to put any inner tension or energy into this connection anymore, trying not to think about it. They're like, oh, well, it just didn't work and they just don't want to commit and whatever it is. I feel like this person is trying very hard with that energy to keep it off their mind, um, but they end up, six of cups, they end up there anyways, okay? So they're trying, they're making an effort, but they always kind of get lost and caught up in the thoughts anyways. A Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel like they, this is not something that they wanted to come to an end with that showing up in the heart space. The Devil in the reverse is the true intentions. So they're trying to release this. Um, but like I said, I feel like a lot of blaming energy, especially with the Devil being here, um, and the Justice in the reverse, they feel like you've wronged them some way. Like they're trying to like make you look bad in their mind. You know, oh, well, it's just because they're like this. They're not committal. They're this or that. Um, you know, in order to kind of make themselves feel better about the situation. That's what I'm seeing. They're almost like trying to villainize you so that they feel better um, about themselves and about the situation that's going on here. Um, and I understand, you know, that can be hurtful when someone chooses to leave your life when you um, and you have emotion for them. Of course, that's hurtful. They absolutely have the right to feel hurt. Um, but I do feel like they are villainizing you um, just in order to kind of make themselves feel a little bit better about the situation. The Four of Cups, because they are feeling very rejected. So we're going to clarify a little bit. It does feel pretty clear to me, but we are going to clarify a little bit here. So tell me about the, I do feel like you are, I feel like you, you do feel bad. I mean, I feel like you feel bad for, um, you know, that you weren't interested in that this person, you know, is feeling some type of way, but you can't help how you feel. So tell me about this five of swords in the reverse, the emperor. Yeah, but you're just kind of like bossing up through it, telling yourself, you know what, I'm just like kind of taking control of the situation, kind of bossing up through it, telling yourself, you know what, it's going to be okay, they're, they're going to be okay, this is just the right thing to do, kind of talking to yourself like that is kind of the energy that I'm feeling, trying to be more mature, more grown about the situation. I mean, at this, you know, this person can't see it now, but, you know, they deserve to have somebody who's crazy about them. Um, so you're, you're honestly doing what's best for them by walking away because, you know, by being with them when you don't have those feelings, you know, you're preventing them from having what they deserve. So really, you're doing the right thing. Um, so you don't have any reason to feel bad about it. Um, but this person, you know, they're, they're not able to see that at this time because of all the emotions. Hopefully, someday they will. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. So, but I do feel like it's been stressing you out. I do feel like you've been in your head about it because you didn't want to hurt anybody. You know, that wasn't your intention. But you got to do what you feel like is best for you. Now, tell me about this, or tell me about this Knight of Swords. That's too many. We're not going to take all those. Tell me about the Knight of Swords energy. I feel like you, you know, have pretty much had to stop communicating back with this person. Um, and I just feel like it's because of, you know, how they're handling things. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. It was just causing more confusion, more, like, emotional issues. So I feel like that's why you guys had to stop communicating with this person. Tell me about this. Tell me about this Two of Cups in the reverse. Let's see what that is. The three of swords. Yeah, you didn't want to hurt this person. Um, you didn't want to hurt them. Oh, I picked up an extra card here. There we go. The page of swords. Yeah, you knew that this that communication telling them that was going to hurt them. Um, and I do feel like that's where that's where this regret or this remorse is coming from, um, because of that conversation. That was a painful conversation to have. Tell me about this. Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Seven of Swords. So there could have been some kind of dishonesty or something going on from this person that caused you to be very turned off. There's definitely something here. So this could have been something this person said or something this person um, did that really caused you to be, you know, really turned off by the situation, um, turned off by the connection and just not want to move forward. Um, with the Seven of Swords showing up. So... Others of you, if it's not the case, if it's not some kind of like something that they did or said that really turned you off about the situation, it, this could be coming up because they could be not believing the reasons you're giving them. So like if you told them like, 
whatever reason you told them for not, you know, being with them, you know, they could, they could think that you're not telling the whole truth. Okay. They could think that there's more to it. Tell me about this ten of swords in the reverse. Why is that here? The three of wands. They still have hope. They still have hope that you're going to change your mind. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. The knight of cups. <sighs> So on one hand, their reach, their true intention is, you know, um, to kind of try to release this. Um, but they're having a hard time because it's not just, I feel like it's not just you that they're holding on to. I almost feel like this person created, I'm trying to think of the way to explain it, but created this whole fantasy around you. So like made all these future plans, like was picturing you guys together, maybe you guys moving in, guys getting a house. Have, like they have this whole fantasy, okay, um, worked out in their head. So now for them, it's not just losing you um, and getting used to you not being in their life, but it's losing that whole kind of fantasy that they've been, you know, that they came up with. Tell me about this Four of Cups energy. Queen of Cups, yeah, they are, they are missing you. They are very emotional. They are feeling very rejected. I don't feel like they're having a good, um, it's showing up as the tower. So I don't feel like they're having, you know, in very good control over their emotions at this time. So they could be, you know, acting out. And that could be one of the reasons why you are, you know, stopping communication with them is just because, you know, the way that they're handling it this time. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys um, for this week. We're going to get you guys some confirmation, clarification, and some advice. But you guys... I feel like you guys are doing what's best for you. You guys are doing what you feel is the right thing to do. And we can't be responsible as long as we're doing things above board and we're doing things the right way and we're doing things, um, you know, as compassionate and loving as we can. We can't be responsible for everybody's, you know, re emotional responses to that. Um, so I wouldn't beat yourself up about it. Okay, Leos, we're just going to pray for you and pray for them and keep it moving forward. So let's get you some confirmation, clarification, and some advice. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, what confirmation, clarification, or advice do we have for my beautiful Leos? What confirmation, clarification, or advice do we have for my very most beautiful Leos? Let's get you one more. All right. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces, and a new start is coming, new moon. So I do feel like this is just your confirmation that you, you know, you are doing the right thing. You are starting a brand new cycle. You are about to have a brand new beginning um, and balance spirituality and practicality. It's one thing to, you know, there's only so much that you can do. And it's a, there's a little level of needing to be um, realistic about the situation, like with, you know, cutting, you know, off communication. Um, you know, there's something with that where, you know, that's a very realistic thing that you have to do because it's only making it worse. You know, on a more spiritual level, you can hope and pray that things work out better and that they handle it better. Um, but you can't keep yourself invested in that. You can't keep yourself, you know, in the emotions of it. Um, it's more better to, you know, pull that back and try to be a little bit more practical. And I feel like you guys are handling the handling this the right way. But balance spirituality and practicality when it comes to the full moon, when it comes to what you're trying to close out, what you're trying to release. Um, and just be excited and be ready because there's a brand new beginning coming with this energy. So that is what I have for you, my loves. And if it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you hit that notification bell, then when we do our monthlies, mid-monthlies, weeklies, and bonuses, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, and as always, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Until next time.